All right, all you fans of the big blades out there, you're definitely gonna wanna take a look at this D2 blade from Odin Wolf. Stick around. I sure hope you're doing well, my friend. Welcome to 411 Outdoors. I wanna thank all of my subscribers and welcome all the new visitors. Thus far, I've had the privilege of reviewing two knives from Odin Wolf. I just think Odin Wolf's a lot of fun. I love their product catalog. I love their different kinds of bushcraft knives and especially these bigger blades that they have. And right now we're going to be unboxing the W Catcher. I'll take it out of the packaging here. Open this box up and here's what we have. Now let's take a look at the blade. There's the sheath. Looks very similar to the Sow Catcher sheath. This comes in many colors, black on black, black and silver, just different color handles. But here we go. We've got us a big D2 blade here. The factory edge on this does come paper sharp as well. Not the tightest retention in the world, but there is a modification that can be made for those who want a tighter retention. You could super glue these portions right here together, and I can tell you that it will double the retention. But let's not fail to mention that we've got this strap here as even more reinforcement. I'm actually going to be taking the W Catcher on a stroll today because, you know, the weeds have grown up, the limbs have grown out, and I want to make sure my paths to the creek are clear. I can already tell you right now, I don't want anything to do with these limbs on this tree. One of the things I do is I, I like to keep this, this entryway nice and open. This thing's really sharp. You're going to get a chance to see some beautiful terrain, busting creeks, waterfalls, maybe even some slithery friends. I don't know. Taking us a nice little stroll here in the jungle. We got a lot of rain over the last couple of days, so I know the creek's gonna be busting. I can see it from here. For me personally, I like a big blade like this just to, just to take down limbs, stuff that I know is gonna grow. It's burning right through these real nice. Look at that right there. That's a busting creek. You can tell that's right after a rain. This is definitely for those who like a big knife because that's what this is. This is a very long piece of work here. Uh, it's not very heavy, but the one thing I'll say is that this is heavy enough and it gives great mobility with the swing. You can swing this really quick. This is actually one of my favorite camp spots down here to just kind of day camp. It's just always a great place to come down and have coffee and read. I've used this location a few times in filming but man i gotta tell you this is exciting i wish i had a boat man i'd just jump in right now maybe like an inner tube i think i'd just flop down right here right now and just just ride that thing all the way to the ocean buddy just stuff like this that obstructs the pathway to the camp i just like to keep it clear as you can tell you know here's the entryway it's nice and smooth i'm not gonna lie to you friends i'm kind of getting a Rambo First Blood Part 2 vibe down here, man. I don't know whether to finish this review or cover myself in mud and hide up against that wall so nobody can see me. I'm also getting kind of a predator vibe from this right here, man. I feel like just covering myself in mud and laying on this bank, man, so that the predator can't see me. This path is looking good, so let's go clear some other entryways. Whenever you buy an Odin Wolf knife from a 411 Outdoors review, you get a chance to use the 411 Outdoors discount code. And if you've got their other blades and you've got the sow catcher, go ahead and add that W catcher to your collection. But use my discount code so you can get the discount. What would be really cool is if I could get some copperhead footage for you. Now listen, man, you may think, dude, you're actually asking to run up on a copperhead. Well, no, I don't want to step on one unaware. But man, it'd be cool to get one on video though. Just something about getting down in this grit and in this mud, man. You see this path right here? I'm gonna have to do some clearing on it because there's a creek location down here that I use as well. Better believe I'll be watching my step through here though. This is Snakeville, buddies. This old boy here's gotta go. Let's get a little chop, little, little wide range chop just like that right there. You see, you can get a long chop with a blade like this. Stuff like this that grows over the path. So let me show you kind of what's going on here. You see how that's all starting to open up? That's what I have to do every year. 
with the exception of this high grass and weeds here, it's pretty clear. It's no obstructing limbs, you know. Oh crap, snake! See, I just fooled you, didn't I? All right, we still got good entryway to this beach. Man, I wish it was like this all the time. Sometimes the creek can really get dry and it's a bummer, but really digging that. You know, for those looking for just a big knife for home defense, just defense in general, to keep in the car, looking for something that's not a sword, not a machete, but just a big knife, well, here you go. It's got reach and power and the ability to pierce whatever. You know, if you get jumped by some big animal, you know, wouldn't it be nice to have this with you? I mean, you think about it. You out, you know, walking around and all of a sudden an elephant jumps on you or, you know, a rhino sneaks up on you or something like that. You know, some kind of mystical creature. Uh, you know, this will have your back. You know what I'm saying? But although I can't recommend batoning with the sow catcher because it's a double edge. I mean, you're going to end up batoning your baton. But with this one right here, you can do all the batoning that you want. I mean, it's got a blade that reaches from here all the way to Germany where it's made. So, you know, lay whatever you want to under this bad boy and just start batoning. We can get into some serious stealth Rambo throwing here. Look, I can't resist. We're getting wet today, bro. I mean, wet, wet, wet. We're rolling all up in this bad boy right here, right now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I just couldn't resist it, man. It looks so good. I'm like, man, I'm not waiting for water boots. We're just, we're trekking off just like this right here. We knee deep, buddy. Knee deep. People be like, hey, man, watch out for snakes. Well, I say the snakes need to come down here and watch out for Daniel. Surely to goodness I'll be able to see a little slithery friend on this nasty path right here. I'm gonna tell you what it is why we hadn't seen any snakes so far. I mean, this is, this is a known fact. These snakes down here just know how much I come down here. They know how much I throw things and shoot things and they just decided to uh, relocate, man. That's all it is to it. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, Stand By Me, man. It's one of my favorites from the 80s. This kind of reminds me of a Stand By Me pool. Let's see how far I fall down in this thing, man. I don't, I'm a, uh huh. Yep, I'm already starting to sink. There we go. Yeah, this is a nasty mud puddle right here, y'all. I might even lose a boot. Let's see if we can veer off to the side here. We've got as a henchman to our right here. This is another trail, but it looks like somebody's already gotten started on it. This is good. Look what we have here. I think it's time to go swimming again. Oh yeah, friends, full on wading going on right now. Full on wading. In the words of Can Vandal, sometimes you just gotta get out and get you some gotta love it when you're walking through all of this and on top of that it starts to rain good stuff oh yeah yeah i didn't get to see no snakes today but like i said man they heard i was coming so they moved on a little adventure here with the sow catcher is coming to an end we're on the road back home this is just a nice big old blade to have with you in times like this you never know what you're going to need to do what kind of task you're gonna to need to perform, what kind of defense situation you're gonna be in, no matter how you see it, this right here is a big, dangerous piece of work. I wanna thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to click that bell so that you get notifications of future content. Thank you for your support. I love to hear from you in the comments. Do you have this one? Do you have other Odin Wolf blades? What's been your experience with it? I'd love to hear from you. Take care.